3 de la tarde. Mi papá voltea a verme y con solo su mirada me hace llorar. ¿Por qué? No recuerdo el motivo, pero aún recuerdo la mirada. tanto poder sobre mí. is not an envelope exterior to the person who speaks, thinks, or feels. The form of the signifier in language, units units, would remain indeterminate if the potential listener did not use the face of the speaker to vary his or her choices. Hey, he seems angry. You can say it. You see my face when I'm talking to you. Look at me carefully. A child, woman, mother, man, father, boss, teacher, police officer. Does not speak a general language, but one whose signifying traits are indexed to specific faciality traits. Faces are not basically individual. They define zones, frequency, or probability limit a field that neutralizes in advance any expressions, connections, and nameable to the appropriate significations.
It is at work everywhere, functioning smoothly at times, at other times in fits and starts. It breathes, it heats, it eats, it sheds and fucks. What a mistake to have ever said to it. Everywhere it is machines, real ones, not figurative ones. Machines driving other machines. Machines being driven by other machines with all the necessary couplings and connections. An organ machine is plugged into an energy source machine. The one produces a flow that the other interrupts. The breasts is a machine that produces milk. And the mouth machine coupled to it. The mouth of the anorexic wavers between several functions. Its possessor is uncertain as it is whether it is an eating machine, an anal machine, a talking machine, or a breathing machine. Hence, we are all handymen, each with his little machines for every organ machine. An energy machine all the time flows and interruptions. Your Trevor has sunbeams in his ass, a solar anus. And rest assured that it works. Your Trevor feels something, produces something, and is capable of explaining the process theoretically. Something is produced. The effects of a machine, not mere metaphors.
7 a.m. It's my first day at school. Mexico. 1994. The kids gather around the schoolyard. Uh, they group us by how tall we are. And I learn that I'm probably the smallest kid in third grade. Tomen distancia, someone yells. And, uh, I see them like raise their hands to like keep a distance between each other like little things like this I I don't know what what they mean or why we even doing them um, but after they start doing something kind of weird they put their hands to the chest like a little flag and start saying the Mexican anthem I don't know it so I fake math in the lyrics uh, because I don't want them to know that I don't know the Mexican anthem. Uh, so that day I learned what honores a la bandera means. But it bothers me that like I don't know the anthem, I don't know the procedures, I don't know what why they see that little group of girls going around the yard with the flag, like what does that mean? Um, so I get inside the classroom and uh, I ask the second tallest kid, just because he was next to me, you know, que sigue después al sonoro rugir el cañón. And then the teacher noticed that I'm, I think, talking too much and, you know, she yells like, Omar, ven aquí. Um, still I reprimands me because, you know, it's, you know, I'm just... I'm, making too much noise or just talking too much she wanted she was old school like and what I mean old school is old school um she I think she tells me like aquí no se hace eso hoy vas a aprender a respetar a tu maestro empínese and I mean I you know my Spanish is good but by looking at her face I know that I'm in trouble um it's just weird, right? And everyone's kind of starts to like look at me, and she kind of laughs a little bit because she she gets that she I don't know, and then she tells uh, my friend Abraham, enseñale cómo empinarse. Then it clicks like, oh okay, so you want me to like bend? You want to spank me, right? Okay, and just do it. And she, I mean, by that point, everyone was laughing. And she kind of just symbol that she needs to continue the, uh, the ritual. The ritual of like reprimanding the kid, like, spanking. She gives me like a little, a little tap.
cuando te diviso y veo tu rostro asomarse. Luna, cuando te diviso, siento en mi pecho agitarse el fuego de mi pasión, que la tierra de este mi amor. Luna, cuando te diviso, y veo tu rostro asomarse, the schizo knows how to leave. He has made departure into something as simple as being born or dying. But at the same time his journey is strangely stationary, in place. He does not speak of another world. He is not from another world. Even when he is displacing himself in space, his is a journey in intensity, around the desiring machine that is erected here and remains here. For here is the desert propagated by our world, and also the new earth, and the machine that hums around which the schizos revolve planets for a new sun. These men of desire, or do they not yet exist, are like Zarathustra. They know incredible sufferings, vertigos, and sicknesses. They have their specters. They must reinvent each gesture. But such a man produces himself as a free man, irresponsible, solitary, and joyous finally able to say and do something simple in his own name, without asking permission. The desire lacking nothing, a flux that overcomes barriers and codes, a name that no longer designates any ego whatever. He has simply ceased being afraid of becoming mad. He experiences and lives himself as the sublime sickness that will no longer affect him. Here, what is what would a psychiatrist be worth? Eso calienta, eso respira, eso come, eso caga y coge. Son máquinas, nexos y conexiones. Los senos son una máquina que conecta a la boca de la otra máquina. No hay esferas independientes. La producción es inmediatamente consumida y registrada. El esquizo sabe abandonar. Ha hecho de la partida algo tan simple como nacer o morir. Pero al mismo tiempo su viaje es extrañamente estacionario en el lugar. No habla de otro mundo, no es de otro mundo. Incluso cuando se desplaza en el espacio. Es suyo, es un viaje en intensidad. Alrededor de la máquina deseante que aquí se erige y aquí permanece. Porque aquí está el desierto propagado por nuestro mundo y también la nueva tierra y la máquina que zumba alrededor de la cual giran los esquizos planetas para un nuevo sol estos hombres de deseo aún no existen todavía son como Zaratustra conocen sufrimientos vértigos y enfermedades increíbles tienen sus espectros deben reinventar cada gesto pero tal hombre se presenta como un hombre libre irresponsable solitario y alegre Capaz finalmente de decir y hacer algo sencillo en su propio nombre, sin pedir permiso. Un deseo al que nada le falta, un influir que supera barreras y códigos. Un nombre que ya no designa ego alguno, simplemente ha dejado de tener miedo de volverse loco. Se experimenta y vive a sí mismo como la enfermedad suprime que no le afectará más. Aquí, ¿qué es? ¿Cuánto valdría un psiquiatra? 